students hope you all are doing well and staying safe welcome back to yet another video of the football mania and today i have some really interesting news which i am sure any football fan would not have heard in the history of football and well i have just come to know that in the portuguese women's league they have introduced the first white card which was shown to a uh, technical staff in order to improve fair play and recognition in football and this is a very very big initiative and what exactly does this white card mean well we know that for a challenge a yellow card is shown or if it is a straight red a red card is shown but this white card is you know something which is going to improve fair play in football and once when this match was going on between benfica and sporting it was a benfica player from the bench who was feeling quite unwell benfica having led the game 3-0 at half time were in cruise mode but you know as soon as the player became unwell the both the sets of medical staff rushed towards the player to treat him and immediately the referee showed a white card to both sets of medical staff and the reason being they were just improving fair play in sport it was a sign of sportsmanship it was a sign of a good gesture and that just goes to show that football is not just about winning and losing it is much more than that there are so many valuable lessons which each one of us can learn through any sport leave alone football and yes this is only restricted to portugal right now because they thought that this would be a very good initiative when it comes to promoting fair play in football however fifa is also considering making the white card official and once this white card trend spreads not just across europe but also in other developing ecosystems i really feel that the game will move forward at the global level and this has been coming because even before this white card was introduced you know michel platini who is part of the uefa presidentship was also of the opinion of a white card but it was for a different reason it was you know to suspend players for a time period of 10 minutes when they are showing dissent towards the referee when they are abusing them that is the time when a referee needs to show a white card according to platini so that the player gets suspended for 10 minutes and probably after those 10 minutes he can come back it is just like the sport of hockey where a player is shown a green card and then he goes goes and sits on the bench for 5 minutes and the team has to play with one man short and that is exactly what platini was referring to but in this case you know we want to see much more you know good sportsmanship on the pitch we want to see scenarios where players are not just fighting in a competitive level but they are also realizing that football is much more than just winning and losing and at the moment i feel that you know portugal as a country has done itself a huge favor by introducing the white card in the future we might see many more such occasions where the white card will become a very very common practice all across europe and from europe it can slowly come to different parts of asia and africa as well so in my personal opinion i feel that there is no harm in you know recognizing the fair play or recognizing the good gesture or deed which a player or even a technical staff has committed during the match that just goes to show that you know football is for everyone football needs to move in the right direction and if there is no fair play in sport i am sorry to say nothing will move on and only when we see such kind of practices you know on the pitch we will realize that you know everything at the end of the day is just a sport it is just for the entertainment but when it comes to you know such real life situations the use of a white card can go a long way in terms of recognizing the team's ethical values and philosophy 
and i am sure every one of you might be reminded of the fact when christian eriksen just fainted on the pitch you know during the euros two years back and that was a very very devastating sight to witness however you know the presence of mind of the danish players was just so you know moving and inspiring and that just goes to show is that you know at the end of the day we all are humans and you know we all need to you know stand together and face any kind of challenges and we need to you know push the game forward and through the introduction of the white card i feel that this is only going to improve the way football is conducted the way you know all these federal federations and football associations are treating football it is not just about minting money through the game it is also about showing these little gestures which can go a long way in improving the standards of a professional league so guys please let me know what are your thoughts about this white card do you really feel that this should be introduced and widespread all across the world in order to promote fair play in the beautiful game please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section and if you like this video please do me a favor hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because i will be coming up with some really interesting content now that you know club football is back in its action so please stay tuned and until next time stay safe and take care